I saw this question on YouTube and I have a different method to do. So I would like to show with you and uh, share with you. Now, cosine x is equal to i. We're looking for x. Now, from from this, we can find a sign, right? Sine x is equal to uh, plus or minus a square root, 1 minus cosine square, which is a equal 1. So this equals plus or minus root 2. Okay, then <clears throat> uh, use the Euler's formula. This will be equal to cosine x plus i sine x. So this is a cosine, this is a sine. So this is equal to 1 plus or minus the root 2 i. And then from, from this that we can find x i is equal to natural log. Mm, 1 plus or minus root 2 i. Right. Obviously, this is a complex number. We let this complex number be a plus b i. Right. And we know that a b are real numbers. Okay. Good. And from this. We know that uh, uh, 1 pl plus or minus root 2 i is equal to e to the power of a plus b i, which is equal to e to the power of a times cosine b plus i sine b, right? Uh, we know that this is a complex number without the real parts. Therefore, this side, the real part must be zero. So, which means e to the a times cosine b is zero. And uh, therefore, b is half pi. Right? If if a b is half pi, this is zero. This is a one. Therefore, uh, one plus or minus the root two i is equal to e to the a times uh, i. Right? Sine sine half pi is one. <clears throat> Now, we know that e to the power of a is positive because a is a real number. If this positive, therefore, therefore, this must be positive. So negative, to, negative root 2 is not, not uh, possible, which means 1 plus root 2 is equal to... <coughs> e to the power a. Okay. So from this one is a equal to natural log of one plus root two. Therefore, x i x i is a plus b i. <clears throat> a is this. Natural log of 1 plus root 2. B is half pi. So we can find x by multiplying negative i, right? So this means that x is equal to half pi minus i natural log 1 plus root 2. <clears throat> Yeah, now that is uh, only for uh, 
ex in, in, in one period. So if you add a, a more period, so the general solution would be half pi minus i log 1 plus 2 plus 2n pi plus the multiple of 2 pi, where n is a natural number. Yeah. No, not not natural number. N is a positive, is a is is a integer or zero. Okay, that is a general solution. See, by using this method is a quite a, quite nice. I hope you like it. Thank you.